Hey, so let's use yet another method. We're going to get the last part, this M02PTH, which is really just a two pin header. Uh, we're going to get this and download it. If you want to try out Altium Designer free trial, just use the link in the description below. Here it is. This is as a two pin header, 100 mils apart or 2.54 millimeters apart. So I looked at rectangular connectors, headers, mail pins on DigiKey, and I found the first one at 0 0.2 for the price, like 20 cents for the price. There are cheaper ones like 17 cents, but I'll just go with this one. This one has an ECAD model. I click on it and this is from Ultra Librarian. I like Ultra Librarian's footprints and parts. So let's click download. I have to log into download. Right, so I logged in and download now. Three D CAD model. Oh, there's no step model. Right, right. Let's go Altium. Altium Designer. I'm not a robot. And then download. I'm going to fast forward after this point. So I downloaded the folder from UL into the parts. I'm going to make a parts folder, or I made a parts folder in my LiPo battery project folder. Now just right click, 7 zip. You can extract here, uh, I, or you can do extract all into the folder, the UL, its own UL folder name. Double click on there, we have Ultium Designer. There's also an import guide to say how to import these files. I really had a lot of trouble uh, figuring this out. Then instead I'll do file, Run script, browse, from file. Let's run it. File, maybe this is how it works. Start import. That's fine. And let's see what the script does. Done with it. Okay, well, let's see. Double click here. And we have our schematic library. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at that. Now let's right click on this part, copy it, and put it in our own library. Click on our schematic library. We'll right click, paste. Fantastic. Amazing. Let's go to the PCB library that was imported. Two pins app. Okay. Oh, that's so strange. It's like I have to double click on it, click OK, then double click on it again for it to show up. Huh, strange. All right, right click, copy. I'm copying this footprint from this PCB library. I'm going to put it in my own PCB library. Right click in the blank area, paste, uh, paste one component. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. This does not have a 3D model, but that's okay, actually, because the board from SparkFun, we do not load this 3D model. It's just the footprint. Yeah, looks pretty good. So two pins underscore amp. Cool. Save everything. Let's go back to our schematic library. Let's see if there's anything else we can add on here. Built by EMA UL team. 
You know, I'll edit the supplier links. I want to add this on here. The manufacturer part number is, well, really we can use the DigiKey part number. To make sure we choose the part, click add. And whoa. Wow. Okay. So it already picked it up from there. That's crazy. Click OK. Click OK. That's really awesome. Now, the comment. Let's change this or make it not visible, but I'm also going to change it to to position vertical header or something like that. Header 0 0.100 inch hit tab. Let's go with the description. So we'll copy this with a detailed description. Paste with control V. Right click. Save. And notice the footprint is visible here. Two pins on the square amp. Here it is. Good. Are there any other parts left? We have mounting holes that don't show up here. We have the power jack, the LEDs. Yeah, we have the solder jumper. And yeah. Okay, so part creation is finished. Fantastic. I mean, this is just pretty good. What is this thing? The value? I'll turn that off. This is quite good. Let's make sure the reference designator is visible. Yes, it will be. Save that. Now that we've created all the parts, let's finish the schematic. You can upload your own designs from Altium or Eagle using Altium Online Viewer for free. Check it out in the link below.